All right, Hayden, you become the fifth member of our jury. You will have a say in who wins this game. Grab your stuff, toss your buff in the urn on your way out. We'll see you at the next tribal council. All right, thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Hayden. Good, job, Hayden. Good luck. Awesome. God bless. Love you. Love y'all. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to say 12 pounds. All right, jump on. Seventy-three point two from one hundred ninety-five. Twenty-two pounds. Twenty-two pounds. One seventy-three. You joking me? That's a lot of weight. That was that close, and I know it. You know, thirty-six days out of thirty-nine. That's pretty dang good. Twenty-five pounds. And to be honest, it's not good enough. No wonder I couldn't perform the competitions. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? I suck. And it's rough because I don't like to lose. I'm not a, I'm not good at losing. I'm just not, I'm not good at it. I thought coming into this game, I was going to win. So do I shave for the jury or do I keep the beard? I'm gonna keep it for Kat, actually. She hates when I have any facial hair because then she'll really get fired up and want to marry me. It's tough, it's a bitter pill to swallow because again, coming in, I knew I was gonna win. All right, Laura, after 36 hard-fought days in this game, your run comes to an end. Grab your stuff, toss your buff in the urn, you become the sixth member of our jury. Love you, Mom. I love you. Bye, guys. You know when you've had a really, really good cry, and then after your cry you feel better, you're like, ah. That is exactly how I feel. I did not make it out of Redemption Island for the second time. So close! Pretty much one day, probably two challenges away. I feel disappointed that I'm out of the game, but then that is dissipated by the fact that in about 30 minutes, I will be shoving so much food in my face that I'll probably forget about the game until I get home and have to go back to work and then I'll remember oh yeah that's right there was that million dollar thing that I was playing for huh shoot pretty frustrating but if I can't be there at least my daughter's there she is playing a fierce game she's a rock star she is a rock star Well, we were prepared for two people to come back from redemption and you know we're expecting just because of Laura M's track record we kind of expected her to be the one to stay in the game. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Bring it in brother. Thank you. It's all good. Oh, man. So I, Vita saw whoever came in and he said oh my god are you serious? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. And I saw Hayden and Laura walk in. I was like, oh my gosh, my mom's still in the game. And I was I was excited to see Laura and Hayden, but I was just as excited knowing that my mom's still in it. And I was like, brilliant. I had a great welcome. I honestly enjoy every single person from this season. Wait till the way to see the rooms. Dude! The big, huge bed. I just got here. Technically, I was on the island for 36 days. You know, we had it going on, and her daughter screwed us. Screwed us! Yes. I told her. My daughter. Your daughter. Oh my god, this is awesome! 36 days without a shower, without brushing my teeth. This is a. Um, god, it smells good. Check out that mirror. And when I went in there, you know, I, I looked in the mirror. Oh my word. I lost 25 pounds. 25 nice. pounds. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to look at myself. Look at a 
Unbelievable. I look in the mirror, I'm skinny, I'm gaunt. I got like a man beard, dude. How do you look? Is it your spirit look? Oh my god. Is your god. spirit look, bro? I'm skinny as hell, and my mustache is pretty legit. Lift up that shirt, let's see the ribcage action. Oh, wow, bro. Tread. <laughs> I had to cinch these shorts up so tight. That'll last another two days. Yeah, probably not that long. When you're out there, it's like, you know, just another day sleeping in the dirt. No, no shower, no toothbrush. Just another day. It smells amazing. I got one for the next few days. You too. So the first meal, we all sat down at the table, and it was nice. We had chicken and rice and vegetables and soup. Just the food tastes so much better. My sense of taste has just been amplified. So we had a great dinner. We're probably going to be playing some games tonight, get some ping pong going. All I got to do is force you to do that. To do that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Competitive spirit as me is going to just keep these challenges up. Finish strong! Game point. Finish Don't call to come back. So, um... Like last night, after you know, a bunch of food had been consumed and beverages been consumed, uh, Laura M and I were the last up, and she she knew that I was probably harboring some ill will from how I left the game, and uh, I made sure to let her know exactly how I felt about what went down. It was a Redemption Island when I got voted off, and it was the challenge between me, Tina, and Vetus, and at the end we had to stack the four blocks so that each color wasn't the same. I got it. And I had Great, finished red, mine first. Laura wins! And I'm standing there and I'm watching them and I'm thinking, huh, I wonder who's gonna win. Huh, who would I want to win? Well, I would like Tina to win because she'd be easier to beat. And then I thought, fine, Tina, let's get you to win. And that's when it clicked to me to help her. Put the one with three yellows on the bottom. Laura clearly helping Tina, not hiding it. Three reds. Vita, is she feeling a little ganged up on? Totally. You know, I've seen a lot of low moves in Survivor, and for me, that ranked amongst the lowest of them that I've seen watching this game for 25 seasons. I made sure to let her know that. He's upset. I mean, he's he he's mad. But not so. She was like, well, it's strategy. Strategy happens at Tribal Council. Blindsides happen at Tribal Council. Redemption is everybody's chance to, you know, to redeem themselves and how they play, to work out their own game. He said that it was um, classless of me to do that. And he, he said, you know, I, I don't have anything bitter against anybody but you. You know, it, it was a tough situation for me because I'm not sorry I did it. He was coming after me and Sierra. Him and Aris from day one, don't pick on my daughter, you know. And, and honestly, the part of me when I did that, it was just like, that's for you, Sierra. You know, I'm happy that I gave her a little bit of the tongue lashing that I did. And I'm glad that I got it off my chest. And so, you know, I can move forward confident knowing that, you know, she knows how I feel. You know, we just said, let's just put it behind us and go on, but I, I know it's not. Today's my second day of Ponderosa. And we get to take this sweet excursion. Driving through rice fields, through the jungle, water buffalo hanging out on the side of the road. And we took a little trek up this tiny little trail. We went to this great waterfall. There was like this rock slide you could go down. <laughs> Had a little picnic lunch there. And even while we were up there, we chatted about the game a lot. You know, last night, I didn't sleep at all. I was just weeping. Just weeping. It was morning that I was out of the game. It was the disappointment that I felt my family was gonna feel. It was the morning the losing of the million dollars. It was the worry for my daughter. I think it was a stew of everything. 
One thing being in that game, it makes you take a step back and look at the big picture. Because there's no doubt, when I was out on the island starving, I realized like, hey, Kat's a pretty special girl and we have a kind of a one of a kind bond that I have never had with anybody else. What is next? I mean, right now, I live in Texas and Kat lives in Florida. Well, maybe it's time we live in the same state. Maybe move in together. You know, maybe even something farther. I don't know, maybe an engagement, whatever. I don't know what's next exactly, but it might be time to kind of take that next step to really solidify like our relationship, what we have. The experience as a whole has been awesome. Like it's been exhilarating, something I'll never forget. It's been so much fun and I just feel kind of blessed to be able to be a part of this.